Okay guys, so let's talk about Creecraft. Creecraft is dominating the Roblox YouTube landscape. To prove this, this past year alone, he has earned over 3 million subscribers, which is insane for a Roblox YouTube that would have never dreamed of this subscriber growth. To prove Creek is dominating this, the Roblox YouTube landscape, every Roblox YouTuber that used to be popular or was popular back in the day has died. In fact, here's a graph for the most YouTubers. You see they have the same pattern after 2021. Every channel here gets a big decline in sub growth, and some even losing subscribers. Even Flamingo is pretty stable after 2021. Even after still gaining 100k a month, he was gaining faster years ago. However, he has slowed down. Now you would expect the same for Creecraft, right? No. In fact, he is actually growing faster than his channel has ever been. Also in viewership, his views have just gone up and up and up. So you know something has to be going on here. Because most Rollers users have become stable in growth or fallen out of relevancy. And that's what we're going to talk about today, so let's jump into it. On April 9th, 2014, a legend was born. Well, actually he had an account on Twitch before his YouTube account, but we're mainly just talking about the Creecraft channel itself. So when he started his channel, he started doing mod reviews or just basically playing Minecraft mods. Now, of course it failed mainly because, he has, because he's a new channel, but there was a specific user that was already doing this, and that would be Dan TDM, and that's why he didn't take off immediately. However, he believed in, in himself and never stopped grinding. Because he showed that he is, has a true passion for playing Minecraft and for YouTube. So he never gave up, even if some videos flopped. Okay, so after one year after starting his channel, on April 1st, 2015, he would hit 1,000 subscribers and would make a 1,000 subscriber Q&A video for occasion. However, that was just only just the start of his insane journey. In January 2016, he would hit 10,000 subscribers in less than two years after making his Creecraft channel. Now, he did not make a special video for this milestone, obviously, but obviously he was happy and thankful for the opportunity. He probably would have not dreamed to have that many subscribers. However, months later, something eventful would happen that would change his career forever. On July 9th, 2016, he would play Roblox for the first time, a popular PvP back in the day called Phantom Forces. And the reason he played Roblox because he would get so many messages and comments telling him to check the game out called Roblox. Now, he probably thought that it was like some type of kid's Lego game that no one would be interested in. However, he decided to check it out anyway, and that video would change his career forever. Less than, less than two months after making his first Roblox video, he would explode in subscribers and would hit K subscribers on September 6, 2016, and clearly he saw that it blowed up his channel. So what did he choose to do? Well, he chose Roblox and abandoned Minecraft. Now, don't get me wrong, he still plays Minecraft, but that isn't his, his channel game topic anymore. Now, Roblox was the new trend. Now, plus, in 2016 was when Minecraft started to climb popularity. Okay, April 2017, he would play popular Roblox game that actually was the second most popular Roblox game behind Meep City at one point, and that is Jailbreak. And he tried the game and liked it, but he would have never expected the growth from this one single game. The simple prisoner and police game. Got him from 100k subscribers to 1 million subscribers. However, in 2020, there was a huge horror game that was growing extremely fast. So he decided to play after so many requests to play the game. So he played Piggy, and that's when he banned Jailbreak. <coughs> and he made the right decision. Because after making videos on Piggy, he would gain over 1 million subscribers in a matter of less than 2 months after hitting 1 million. And he could not believe it from a Minecraft YouTuber who just started playing Minecraft mods to now become one of the most well-known Roblox YouTubers. But this was just a scrap of the surface. So in July 2021, after months of not talking about Jabber or even playing it, he would finally explain why he left. He basically says that the game's pretty repetitive and no one really watches it anymore. It's hard to stream when there's so many exploiters and people who stream tonight, which is understandable. Now, there were people who were mad at him moving to Piggy. However, it didn't pack his channel at all. Okay, so now in 2021, the year that most Roblox viewers died, which he did slow down a bit, however, he still kept his growth to him being consistent, and was still relevant in the algorithm. Now, for most of the year, he was pretty, um, stable. Until the end of the year. Due to the boost from the Roblox down adage, however, he would still slow down, but still would become stable. Not sure he might have become stable in 2021, like all Roblox viewers, he but he made a comeback though, because in February 2022, his channel started growing extremely fast from the Jenna hacking incident, which people enjoyed it, so he started making live streams in the streams and videos would perform well, pretty well getting a million views only a few days after making the videos. So he was getting his channel 
back on track, even after peaking in on October 2021. For most of 2020, it was pretty consistent. No he drove blow up until October 2021. He gained a whopping 50k subscribers in one day due to the hype of Dream's face reveal. But he started making shorts and they went viral. And he gained a peak of 540k a month, which he has not gained that much since the hype of Piggy. And would start surprising a lot of YouTubers due to this fast growth. He would pass YouTubers like Sub, Game of Gen, Poke, and Beacon Cream, which is an Indonesian Roblox YouTuber, by the way. And he was growing fast, no one could stop him. In the following months, he would surpass Jen Dominic, the Roblox TikToker, Rolvy23, a Spanish Roblox YouTuber, Minecraft, another Spanish Roblox YouTuber, Gamer Girl, and I Am Santa. December 2022, he would hit a milestone, which is insane, and would hit a big goal of 100 mo million monthly views, which is insane. Sure, he was dominating the scri and subscribers now, but now he is dominating views. But yes, that is the rise of Creecraft, and that's how he's destroying our Rolex YouTubers.